There's Mr. Frank. Thank God that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I'm here. I haven't missed any days, really. Really. I think and think about it. There's Michael Schotter, resub. Thank you, Michael. Hey, I'm just popping in to resub and say hi. Sorry I didn't make it the other day. Had every intention of being here, but something came up last minute. Still figuring out the new schedule. Not a problem. I appreciate you still uh, renewing your, your sub. And hopefully, um, hopefully you're busy, and it's a good thing. It's not a crappy thing. You're here. I'm subscribed. All is right in the world. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm still like uh, still got like two or three subscribers that still need to uh, resubscribe. So kindly, kindly do that, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Would appreciate it. Stop. Well, good here. Just crazy busy. Anyway, you all have a good one. I'll leave the stream on so you get a view, but won't actually be here. I appreciate that, Michael. Thank you very much. That is a uh, thing I always try to do as well when I jump on a stream and I have other things I got to do. I used to do that for, for Chad Lutsky. Everybody remember Chad Lutsky? He used to be on here, Twitch. I would do that for his. I would open his up and then just leave it on, mute it, and leave the house, go off and do other things. So appreciate you doing that, Michael. The, the time uh, definitely helps. The minutes definitely help. Didn't he invent the cotton gin? Yes, I believe you are right. I 100% believe that you are right on that.
I have a question, and I guess the world deserves to hear your answer. Go. Go. I will answer to the best of my God-given ability, which is a lot. God has given me a lot of ability over the years. Still waiting for the question. Is the question coming in? Of these options, which do you think the Utah NHL team should name itself? Outlaws, Blizzard, Yeti. Obviously the Yeti. Although, I mean, it's Utah. So. I would think they would be, they would have something less, um, less. You can't call them the Utah Mormons, I guess. Utah Tabernacle. Utah morons. Let's see what you did there. You took the M off of the end of Mormons. I get it. I see what you did. A little play on words there. Remember back in the day when there used to be a, just a bunch of teams in Canada? Remember those good those good ta days in the 1800s when we would be able to, to go up to uh, Saskatchewan and see a good game? The Utah Polyamorous. Yep, that's also a, a good a good name. Rolls right off the tongue. I can see that on the jerseys. You'd have a hockey player. The thing would be like a goalie. And there would be like four or five women standing behind him. All putting their hand on his shoulder pads. That's a logo. Utah ha -ha's. <laughs> What's the, uh, does the NBA still have a team in Utah? I, I don't, I don't follow any of that at all. The Utah Sox, that, that would be a great name. Isn't like the Utah Jazz, isn't that the, which I, I don't know why you would call them. I didn't know Utah was known for their jazz. So it should be if you if you have the basketball team, the Utah Jazz, you should have Utah. Uh, stop! Fucking ripping up my furniture. Should be the uh, Utah um, folk folk music. Splatter folk, master of splatter folk. Utah spaghetti liquor. I don't know why you would lick spaghetti. You eat, you're supposed to eat spaghetti. How is it? Shut up. <laughs> Cats are fighting. Anyway, I don't care. I'm trying to get some work done here. Can you two stop? Why are they, uh... I haven't followed hockey as, as much as I, I used to. Are they doing expansion again? Or is somebody moving? Moving from Arizona. Which is weird because you would think Arizona would be a big hockey town. Of course, going to Utah. <laughs> it's all about the. It's all about the the money. It's all about the uh, fees you pay in and all that other crap. It's all it is now. It's just about the money. When we used to go to games in the eighteen hundreds, it was all about the play. Hey, Florida teams keep going to the Cup finals. Yeah, that's the only. The only sport down here that's doing anything. Basketball teams haven't done anything in years. I don't think. Football, I mean, Tampa Bay won that Super Bowl, but that was because of Tom Brady. Hockey teams are doing well. Baseball teams are doing awful. 
But down here you have um, all the New York and New Jersey people that uh, that are at least into sports. And I don't, I don't know if you have that in Utah or Arizona. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. Did you see the... Uh, I've read several articles this morning about basically Lizzie Hale said she is not going to stay in Skid Row. She had a lot of fun. She did the, the, what, four shows? Or they're doing four, whatever it is. But she will not be a permanent singer for Skid Row. And supposedly, they offered her a equal share, a full band member equal share in everything. And the rumor is that basically she was like, yeah, that's not a lot of, that's not a lot of money. Future money, we don't know what that's going to be. Because they're not playing big shows anymore, you know. Their albums are not selling. And she still has Hailstorm, which is making her a crap ton of money. So she's like, yeah, I'm going to stick with my band, who's actually still relevant making money. And you guys can go. So now they have two, two singers, supposedly, they've already been talking to. Two unknown guys again. They don't want to bring in somebody, um, somebody that anybody would know or care about. They excel at picking the most ponderous choices for lead singer. Matt Fel <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I liked I always liked Matt. I actually was friendly with Matt back in back in the day. Matt was a good guy. I mean, not a great singer, but a good guy. I wonder what Matt's even doing now, right? He lived in Highlands, Atlantic Highlands for a little bit there. So who knows who they're going to bring. They're just going to bring some random foreign guy. Like some dude they found. Oh, here's so-and-so from Pakistan now singing for us. Who knows? You know, hey, we found this guy on uh, YouTube Iraq. And he seems to know our song. So we're going to pick him to be our new singer. I think he slices meat at the shop right down the counter. Well, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> and he's like, hey, uh, do you want this salami uh, extra thin? Did I tell you I, I sang for Anthrax? Uh, how thin do you do you want this jerky? Skid Row, I used to, you know... Oh, you were at the Mingles Down Under show? Uh, you know, one of the last ones before they kicked me out of the band? Yeah, yeah, yeah thanks, yeah. Okay, here's 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 your... You know, the rolls are on sale. Just so, just so you know, we got a twofer on that. Ugh. Oh. I like all the uh, con all people are like no she needs to stay with Skid Row she did an excellent job I'm like no no she didn't I don't I don't think that was a good job at, a good job at all a couple of the people on uh, I was out of the house all day yesterday driving around listening to satellite radio and a couple of different DJs uh, made mention of how great she was in Skid Row and. Um, and uh, those shows are just fantastic. And I'm thinking, no, they no, they weren't. I sang 18 in Life and Madhouse in an unmemorable fashion. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, yeah. You know, but you know, you know when, when before Skid Row, anybody knew who Skid Row was, except for like the 30 local people, including Armin, who would go and see them live, or when uh, Anthrax before they, you know, between singers that everybody knows, that was me. That was me. I, I was, I was that guy. I was that guy that that never uh, never uh, recorded with either of those bands.
Where's everybody today? I have uh, Amanda Ward coming over tomorrow to get some writing in, which will be good. Very good. We got some people on. Everybody's being quiet today. I'd rather make some noise. Come on, party people. Party people in the house. Woo woo. Put your hands in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. If your hands, baby reindeer, exactly. I finished watching um, the Fallout uh, season. I liked it. <laughs> I liked uh, Fallout. I thought Fallout was uh, was good. Of course, you got to wait like another year or or more for an, another season. I've never played the game, so I I was like, oh, I was on Monday night. I was on. Uh, I was actually writing Monday night. I was on Twitch, 
and I um, I was writing. I jumped in. I was somebody was writing, so I wrote a little bit, and then that person jumped off. So I was like, all right, what else to watch? And I saw that there was, you know, people who play Fallout. And I was like, oh, let me see what the game... I've never played the game. I've never really even seen the game. And I put it. I put somebody who was playing it who had a shitload of people watching. And I don't know what version of Fallout it was. And it was getting dark. In the game it was getting dark. And they were moving... Weight benches... They moved their weight bench, and then they got on the weight bench, and then they were pumping iron. Their character was pumping iron and getting points or something. And then they went to another, and they it was just, I was like, what What are we, I thought we were, I thought we were like killing people and ghouls and stealing stuff. And it, it looks like they're, uh, all they're really doing is, um, he was, he was, he was in the gym. And I'm like. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to go on a game. I'm not going to go to the gym in real life. I don't want to go on a game and be in the gym. Seems weird. I don't have much interest in watching that. I thought it was. I thought it was good. It's um. Um. It's like you know. It's like Othello meets Star Wars. No, it's um. The sets are are, just wonderful. It's got some humor in it. It's got. Walton Goggins is 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 uh, phenomenal in everything he does. The main chick in it though, she got bug eyes. But then there's a lot of like cameos of people. You're like, oh, I know, I know who that person is. But it's like it's one of those if you got nothing else to watch, and it looks like there's like nothing else to watch, right now. So. Henry Winkler, I have not seen Henry Winkler in it so far. No, that's one of the only cameos I have not seen, which I'm surprised about. And there's no, like, huge, like, you know, Rihanna isn't in it. There's just no, like, huge... Matthew McConaughey doesn't pop out of the wasteland or anything like that. But it's a lot of, of people that you like, you know, like the dude from um, Portlandia... That guy was in it for about five seconds. People like that. Again, it's a good... I like the story. It's a good story. I have no idea how much it coincides with the game or anything. Or I guess several games. Looks like there's several different games. Apparently when I was watching that they were talking about the... Oh yeah, Liver Lips of Gelicotti was phenomenal in it. Probably one of this guy, while I'm watching this guy play the game, he was talking with people in the chat about, um, uh, New Vegas. Oh my God, they go to New Vegas and this, the second season is going to be set in New Vegas and on a, and I'm, so I guess that's a big thing in the game. I guess New Vegas is some thing in the game, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to play. I was I was like, for that one second, I was like, maybe I should play this. And I'm like, no, this is too much. It's just too much. It just looks like you got to do too many things. Like, if I'm going to do a game like this, I like Doom, where you're just basically, you're, you're just moving sideways and just shooting things. I don't want to have to jump and leap and figure out things and look up and look down. And uh, it just seems to be too much. When the video games become such much work? I like the missions in Pac-Man. Exactly. I mean, that's and that's about as deep as you want to go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what do I have to do on this level? Oh, I got to stay away from the ghosts and I got to eat. I got to eat all the dots. Okay, I think I got this one.
Nice. You would think that someone should have reinvented asteroids as a first person shooter by now. How amazing would that look? That would be I would I would play that. I would play that. My son went to the um Uh, the flea market this weekend and bought a bunch of PlayStation 2 games. He kept sending me pictures like, Dad, do you remember this game? Yeah. Dad, do you remember this game? I'm like, yeah, I have that game. Don't buy it. I, I'll give you my copies. Like, I already bought it. How come we don't have a Missile Command movie on Hulu yet? It seems like it's got to be coming at some point, right? Can you imagine the great graphics on that? Missile Command was one of those games that uh, I liked playing, but I was really, really bad at it. And I got to the point where I was like, all right, I'm just going to save this one missile base. I don't even care about the rest of them, because if I try to save all whatever it is, three or four bases, I'm going to lose all four bases. What's the one that he had, he had to drop, jump over the crocodiles? How come I can't think of the name of that one? That one would be... That'd be a great game. Sir, the enemy has fired several missiles to the second city on the left. I can tell because it's leaving a long trail in its wake. Pitfall. Thank you, Pitfall. Right? And then you'd have, you'd have somebody in the movie yelling, Put up the defenses! Put up the defenses! Counterattack! Counterattack! All kinds of cool words that could be screaming. Yeah, Pitfall would make another great. Frogger. Do they do something with Frogger at one point? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, we've had, we had Rampage, right? Pretty much if you had um, Missile Command, you'd have to have The Rock would have to star in it as one of the as one of the, uh, you know, the only base that's left towards the end of the movie. I was going to make Pratfall where the object of the game was to trip over a fall. Well, that's the game. Anyway, exactly. And then John Ritter would be one of the bosses in it. You'd have to successfully trip him. I'd play that game. I wouldn't play that game. Ooh, I had two pieces of toast with butter today. That was all I've eaten. And now I'm burping it up, but I'm also burping up the Crystal Burgers that I had yesterday. Which is such a mistake. Such a mistake. Yesterday I went, I got the oil change in the car. Went to Duncan, got coffee. Sat in the oil uh, in the place, even though there was... Nobody in there. They just jerked around for two hours. I finally got the oil change. Two hours sitting there because they were too busy. The the guys working there were too busy making fun of each other and, and playing around and wasting time. And then I went for a ride. I, I hit A1A north of here and went all the way down south through St. Augustine. Yeah, two hours. At one point it was like an hour and they were like, hey, we got to order... Uh, the, we got to change the oil filter, but we got to get it delivered. It should only take a few minutes. 
That was like a half an hour it took. And then it took him a half an hour to put in an oil filter. Which, I don't know, that sounds like five seconds. You sound vanilla. What's up, Lions Pride Studios? Good morning to you as well. Even though it's afternoon for us. But I get what you're saying. So yeah, I I, uh, I rolled down A one A beach beach what is it beach bar uh, whatever. I didn't stop. I just kept going. But at one point there is they're doing construction right, so they have the road one side of the road is closed. And so. Beachfront Avenue. I don't know why I can't remember that. Yeah. I didn't go that far south. That's down in Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. I didn't go that quite that far down. I did go uh, th into St. Augustine. Uh, basically, from 10.30 to 4.30, I was just driving. So I'm cranking satellite radio, Hair Nation, Ozzy's Boneyard, Lithium. And I stop... Because they're doing construction, so it's only one side of the road is being used, so they stop you. So there's an older uh, African-American woman. She has the stop pole, and there's an older African-American gentleman uh, standing next to her. They're Obviously, they're working on the crew. And they stop me because other cars are coming. And as I stop, um, Cult of Personality by Living Color is playing. And she gets very excited. And she comes walking towards the car and she's singing the words as as the song is uh, is playing. And then uh, the other guy starts laughing and he starts. So the two of them are singing Cult of Personality, which is funny. Because, of course, I'm driving. It's 90 degrees out, but I'm, I'm on the beach. The water's right there. I got all the windows down. Sorry to raid and go, but my migraine is getting worse. Talk to you later. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate you jumping in. I appreciate you jumping in raiding. Hopefully people will hang out and stay and listen to my exciting story I'm telling. I did not stop in uh, Flagler Beach. I did not go uh, that far south. But I, um, so they're listening to Cult of Personality blasting in my car. I got the thing on like 25. It's very loud. Not not loud enough where like the car is shaking and making that annoying noise though. And so um, then her radio clicks because the, there's no more cars coming, and she says, "All right, I'll send them in a in a I'll send the the line in a second. Now there's a lot of cars behind me, and she says, "You can't go until the guitar solo." And then that's when the guitar solo started. And then she's doing her, her air guitar. I mean, the lady had to be like 60. And I thought that was hysterical. And I was laughing. And then I went. The other side of that coin is I'm in St. Augustine driving. And there's traffic like crazy. And I'm stopped at a light. And pull up next to me in a Mini Cooper are two 20-something chicks. Right? And at that point... Because I flick around whatever station I have. Like the 80s station I flick to sometimes. And what starts is Manic Monday by the Bengals starts playing. Blasting. And I look over and both of them are giving me a look like you old man listening to that crappy music. It was very embarrassing. And then luckily the light changed and I took off. I was like, you know what? I like this song. Maybe I didn't like it when it came out, you know, in the 80s, but I like it now. So there, there you go. But I, um, yeah, and then I was like, oh, I got to, uh, right, see, don't you like Manic Monday? It's a good song. And then I was like, oh, I got to drop off a book at the library and I have to drop off a couple packages in the mail. So then I came back into town. I looped back around I, I went a, a1a south for many many miles and then i looped back route one all the way back up to home and then um i was like ah, i'm getting hungry it's like 4 30 i should eat four o'clock i should eat something and like a moron i'm like oh crystal i'll just get 
I'll just get 10 crystal burgers, which was a dumb thing to do because man, I felt that. And I, and I always do. I always, I get such agita from, from those burgers and I don't know why I always do it, but I did. I dropped off, uh, coincidentally, I dropped off the Henry Winkler autobiography that I had read at the library. But I didn't, I didn't get any new books, so I have a stack of them. So there you go. That was that. I've been listening to an unexpected amount of REM lately, really. Like old school REM, first couple of albums, or all the big uh, hits. I still cry when everybody uh, when I hear everybody hurts. Should probably get some writing in too. Sorry to hear hi and lurk, but I've not been feeling one at least one to say hi. You know, I appreciate you popping in. Every minute you uh, stay on helps helps the cause, so I hope you feel better. What is the frequency, Kenneth? All the hits. And they have they have many, many hits. That's a band that did the right thing for them. They were like, you know what? We don't need to do this anymore. We're going to just not do this anymore. We're not going to release music. We're definitely not going to tour. We're going to live our lives. I think I read somewhere or saw somewhere that they still get together like Sunday for dinner or something. Like they all still live in Georgia and they all, all their families get together and hang out and sometimes they'll jam and play music, hardly ever their own music. And I thought that was kind of neat. I despise them in the day. So did I. I was not a fan of theirs at all. And then um, as I got older in my like late twenties, Somebody had given me their first two CDs. And I was like, ah, let me let me listen. I was like, you know what? Not not bad at all. Somebody also tried to turn me on to the B-52s. And I'm like, listen, I love the chicks. I love their voices. They're, the female voice in that are amazing. But that guy is just so annoying. And I just don't like... Just not a fan. Orange Crush, yeah. That's some good stuff. I I uh, I was not a fan. I was I allowed myself to be a fan of the Smithereens only because they were Jersey, and I, I like I like them. Rock Lobster, all the no. So I, 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 I I'm not a fan of that crap. But I wasn't a fan of like any of that stuff. Especially I'm you know trying to be the cool metal dude back in the day. I can't. I can't be walking around listening to R.E.M. or anything like that. <laughs> Delight. <laughs> name name two songs by them <laughs> that you know. You know one song. We all know one song. Yeah, Groove is in the Heart. We all know that song. Now that'll be in my head for the next month. Yeah, and the other one, there is no other one. That literally that's it there's literally that one that's what you're that's what you're saying there's that that one yep bootsy collins i gotta uh i gotta straighten up the house my wife will be back from atlanta probably later tonight probably nine ten o'clock so i need to do some cleaning up promised her I would vacuum so I will get some vacuuming in and uh, probably do some laundry dishes fold some blankets and stuff so is what it is is it not I thought I was just going to write all day I'm already burned out I'm already like man I don't want to Part of my long six-hour drive on A1A yesterday was to reevaluate what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong as far as this career. Because you always got to evaluate. You always got to see what what am I missing? What what 
things have passed me by. You know what I'm saying? What uh, what thing could I be doing better? What are my strengths and weaknesses? All those other cliches. And I realized that I just need to shut up and write um, like I've always done and write more books. I can't take a break. That was my goal this year was to take a break. I'm going to write like six books. I don't want to write eight, nine books. I don't want to write 500,000 words this year. I want to write 300,000 words this year. It ain't working. Mentally, it's just crushing me. Although I had a great sale day yesterday, and I don't know why. I did nothing at all. I did nothing different. There's no ads running. I didn't. I wasn't even home most of the day. So it's almost like just don't even pay attention, and then I'll make money. I don't. I don't get it. I also talked to Brian Keene this morning, and I'm all set for that July 13th uh, signing at uh, Vortex Books. He's going to order in a few uh, copies of books so I can sign. So um, anybody in the uh, Pennsylvania area. The good part is then we're going right from there. It's like the signing is like 12 to 4. There's, so there's two authors brand new. I thought it was Damon Manx, but it's not Damon Manx. It's Damon something or other. And some other author. I think with the other authors, like his first signing ever. So these two authors are um, are going to be there with, and I'll be there. So it'll be three of us. And then it's like 12 to 4 or something like that. And then I will, um, what do you call it? Then I will, um, then we drive to Philly after that. Because uh, my wife has the, uh, she has a conference. That will be at Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I believe. So we just go, it's like a 90 minute drive from there and we go uh, and we'll have the, he's like, oh, there's hotels. and I was like, no, we're, we're good. We already got uh, all that. It just worked out perfectly that we will be up there. And then I'll hang out in uh, Philly and uh, order Grubhub some cheesesteaks. Because I don't plan on leaving the I don't know, convention center, hotel, I don't know where wherever they're, they're, they're having this thing. I do plan on writing, but then I won't be, um, I probably won't, actually I know I won't be doing Twitch. Me and Hunter are going to go so we can form a mock line for but I would appreciate that. Yeah, definitely make it, and you gotta take it so it looks like there's, Thousands of people behind you. The the good part is then I can be then I'll be a, a bestseller, then I'll be a bestseller for the store for that week. So, I mean, if anybody buys any books, good part is I don't have to bring books with me. He's ordering a bunch of books, whatever books that we uh, that don't get sold, I'm going to sign so he can continue to sell them in the store. Whatever. I just have no idea what he's what he's ordering. So that should be a uh, that should be very interesting. Looking forward to it.
<laughs> he bought 12 copies of my spy games, yeah. That, yeah, hopefully he buys something that I'm actually going to see some uh, royalties on somewhere down the line. And a copy of Stripper Noir because they're in, you know, that, that might be, uh, that might be the case. I think I got, what did I get from them? A dollar fifty, I think, or something was my quarterly money from, from the first quarter of this uh, year. Like two dollars, maybe. I'm like, that can't be, that, that can't be right. Even splitting it with Aaron, it just, it just can't be right. Anyway. If anybody else is uh, is is on right now, just say hi. Just appreciate it. Just say hi. I appreciate you hanging out, though. It's funny, because I look at the viewers. Like, right now it says I have five viewers on, right? But then, like, afterwards, when I look on it, um, all of a sudden I'll see that... Um, it said it had like 19 people on. And I was like, what? All right, so people are just coming and going, which is fine. I found Shocker on Hoopla, a library lending app. Yeah, because Shocker is on, um, Shockers 1, 2, and 3 are all on draft to digital. Not that we're making any money off of them, but they're on there. So if you wanted to read it on, uh, on the uh, library app, then uh, knock yourself out. I wish draft to digital worked, you know? I have several. I think I have six or seven books on there, and it just, just, uh, just I'm literally make maybe fifteen dollars the entire year. I hope you, uh, I hope you downloaded it and read it. It's a good book. So I guess my goal is just to finish this page. I don't know if I'm going to actually finish it here on uh, on the Twitch, but it will it will get done. Tomorrow, 
I'm not sure I will be. I don't think I will be on. Because, ooh, excuse me, Amanda will be here. Amanda will be here, and uh, I don't know how late she's going to be hanging out and staying. If, perchance, she, um... She leaves early afternoon. I might just jump on maybe a little later and do a, a session or, you know, or two. Hopefully my goal is to get a couple thousand words in tomorrow while she's here. That would be good. But I'll go another couple minutes here. Maybe if Nick Zinn pops in, we can celebrate the next page. Cheese in. Exactly, but I don't, I don't, I don't see him anywhere. So. <laughs> I'm not minding you. You do what you do what you gotta do. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Appreciate everybody hanging out. I appreciate the uh, raiders coming in as well. Feel free to say hi. Feel free to follow me. I will. I follow people back, so that is a, a cool thing as well. All right, everybody. Uh, I will definitely be back on Friday. Yes. I'll be here Friday. I might be on tomorrow. Maybe I'll be on a little bit later. I know me and my wife are going to do date night tomorrow. So um, it won't be too late. Either I'll be in, on by like say no later than 3 o'clock or I'm probably not coming on. Next page, Mr. Frank. Thank you. Next page. All right, everybody. Uh, subscribe. Resubscribe. Follow me. And uh, also subscribe on uh, my YouTube page. Just look for my name.